Governor Walker back in Iowa tomorrow to talk up his possible run for president. One small town in Iowa already knows a lot about Scott Walker. Charles Benson, live in Des Moines tonight with that story. Charles? Well, Governor Walker has promised Iowa voters he will be here a lot this year. And when he's here, he often talks about the importance of family and faith, something he learned about and lived in Iowa. Life doesn't move very fast in Plainfield, Iowa. It hasn't changed very much since Scott Walker lived here as a young boy. He wasn't like naughty. He was just, he, he was just energetic. Janice Dietz remembers the Walkers well. Their children played together. It's a friendship that began when Walker's father was pastor of the First Baptist Church in the early 1970s. His dad was a wonderful leader as a minister. Lou Walker wasn't just the local pastor, but served on the city council as well. I feel he picked up on that, and I feel he's picked up on being a leader through his, his father, because his father was a good leader. Scott started his early school years here before his family moved to Wisconsin by the time he was 10. There are more people elected to Congress than all of Plainfield with a population of about 430. But the mayor of this small town says Walker learned some values here that probably have served him well. The people in Plainfield really get along really well. Do they? Yes, very well. <laughs> unlike Congress. Very, unlike Congress sometimes, yeah. Mayor Tom Geis is a native of New Berlin, but now lives and runs this friendly town. He can't help but think, what if? when it comes to Scott Walker's future. That he came from this kind of town, a small city in the middle of Iowa, uh, eventually moved to Wisconsin and then grew into what he is today in the governor of Wisconsin. I think it's an amazing story. Back at the farm where Janice Dietz would babysit Scott Walker and his brother, she has this advice about a possible presidential run. I love you, Scott, and go for it. That's what I'd say. He's got your vote. He's got my vote. Now, Governor Walker will be at the will have to be at the top of his game on farm issues tomorrow when he faces some tough questioning about uh, at the Ag Summit. He'll be talking about issues like ethanol, which is an important issue here in the corn capital. We're live in Des Moines, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. Nice to know he was not naughty, but energetic as a child. Thank you, Charles.